Why, hello everybody, it's Ordinal Wolf, and today we are back in another video. So today we are going to be looking at how to install shaders as well as Arpdefine. So, um, first off, let's go through the stuff that you're going to obviously need. Firstly, you're going to want to make sure that you have Minecraft installed. I am not going to go through in this tutorial and how, you know, in regards to how to install Minecraft. However, we will be going through how to install both Optifine as well as a shader pack. In this specific uh, tutorial, we'll be looking at the Silders Vibrant Shaders um, pack. Um, however, the same process will work for other shader packs. I will leave some links in the description down below to some pretty good shader packs. So just have a look see and see what you like. However, Right, first off, let's go and we're, I'll show you guys the links that we're going to need to go to today. So, first off, we're going to need to go to Optifine. So, this link will be also in the description below. So, it is optifine.net slash downloads. And then basically, um, depending on the version of Minecraft that you wish to use shaders with, download the appropriate version of Optifine. So, basically, whatever the number is for the Minecraft version, so say 1.16.2 or 1.16.3 or 1.14.4, blah, 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 blah. Just make sure that you download the corresponding Optifine and then download it, then install it. Now, um, since for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it for 1.16.3. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you basically download the one of the preview versions as of this tutorial. At a later date, um, when they've finalized the full edition, it'll come under here just like the other ones here are seen. So basically, just hit download. You can also click on mirror. Mirror will take you to kind of like the download without the ad to start off with. Or you can go download and support the um, Optifine developers and watch a little ad beforehand. I'm not going to do this because I've already downloaded these ahead of schedule. Um, and then the other thing that you're going to need is basically the shader pack that you would like to use. So as I said, we're going to go through and do basically Silda's Vibrant Shaders for this vid video. So um, basically, download which is probably appropriate for your PC. Now, um... I have a Ryzen 3700X and a RTX 2070 Super GPU as of the time of this recording. So for me, grabbing the version 1.28 extreme volumetric lighting is perfectly fine. If you're on a lower end system, I suggest going on something either like the high, medium or light. You may have to test these out, so depending on whether it crashes or not, then you'll know whether or not you should be using a lower version. If it doesn't crash for you and the FPS is still pretty good, you're probably doing the right one. So realistically, go for a bit of a, uh, I guess, trial and test error. It'll be different for most people's systems. Um, so I've already downloaded the Extreme Volumetric Lighting Pack. And um, yeah, other than that, let's go straight into it. So basically, you're obviously going to want to go to your downloads, wherever you've downloaded basically your... Uh, kind of stuff to. So as you can see, I've got preview um, 2 for Optifine 1.16.3. So it'll come up as a jar file. Jar file. So you want to basically just double click on it if you're in Windows or Mac. And basically, it'll come up with this little window here. So Optifine HD Ultra G3 Pre 2. Now, this is the one thing that I'll say to you guys because some people kind of like get a bit worried just in case they've accidentally, well not accidentally, but they've changed the locate the default location for their .minecraft folder. Now, if you've changed your .minecraft folder location, then you may, may need to change the default directory for this installation. Um, if you haven't, then it should be basically exactly where it's already automatically pointing to. But just a little bit of a tip there, so if say you've just put it into like a separate folder, then you'll definitely want to make sure that it goes to that new .minecraft folder installation. But, we're going to keep going since I've just left it default, so we're just going to click install. And um, basically, it'll come up with this. Cannot find Minecraft 1.16.3, you must download and start Minecraft 1.16.3.1 in the official launcher. So what does that mean? That means we have to open... The Minecraft launcher, make sure that you're all signed in. As you can see, pre ahead of schedule, I'm signed in. Pretty handy. 
Um, basically, then you'll just want to download 1.16.3, and then you will basically just want to run it, and then once you've finished running it, then we can install Optifine. Pretty chill. Right, so as you can see, Minecraft is now finally open, so basically that means we can close it, because we don't need it open now. Now we can basically reopen the launcher, or the installer for Optifine, if you haven't already done that. Or you can just, you know, install it after basically keeping it open. And uh, now it should say Optifine is successfully installed, pretty nicely. So, yeah, that means Optifine is now installed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit copy. And then basically you're going to want to go to your so your C drive or wherever your .minecraft folder, the hard drive that's located on. Then you're going to want to go to users. You're going to want to go to the default kind of user or your personal user. And then you'll want to go to view and then you want to click on show hidden items over here. And then you want to go to app data and then you want to go to roaming and then go to your .minecraft folder. Now in here, it should be pretty basic. It's just the default kind of like Minecraft stuff. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to go click right click and we're going to want to go new and then folder and then we're basically just going to call it shader packs and then we're just going to leave it there and then we're going to open it and paste the new shader pack that we downloaded then what we're going to want to do is reopen minecraft again and we should be able to load it up with optifine now it should already default be selected but if you need to you may have to select it from the version of minecraft that you're trying to open up then you should be able to load into Minecraft. And then basically what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the options menu. Then we're going to want to go to video settings. Then we want to go click on shaders. And then the shader pack that you installed should be on there. So let's just click on that. It's then going to basically reload the graphics engine for Minecraft, which is quite nice. Now, if you guys want to, you guys can basically adjust the options for the shader pack if the shader pack supports it. Um, Luckily, Silver sort of Vibrant Shaders has a lot of uh, settings that you can toggle on and off, but uh, totally up to you what you guys decide to enable or disable. Um, basically, just to show you guys that this works, just going to basically create a really quick new world and jump into it, and it should be Gucci with the nice shader pack. Right, so as you guys can see, the shader pack has definitely worked. It uh, looks pretty awesome. So, um, yeah. It's a pretty simple tutorial, it's uh, quite an easy process. Now if you guys have any other ideas for tutorials that you would like to see, please comment down in the comment section below. And then if you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe, trying to get to that 3k eventually. So um, yeah, other than that, take care, and see you in the next video. Bye!